I want all of us to live with that burden because that's also the least that we can do. Our children were not taken away from us. Our children were not told to not be who they were. Emotions continue to run high in British Columbia and right across the country. Days after a grave holding the remains of 215 Indigenous children was discovered on the grounds of an old residential school in Kamloops. Premier John Horgan is one of many BC leaders expressing his sorrow and trying to make sense of what's happened. We're a proud people. We've done extraordinary things together, but we've also done atrocious things together. And collectively, we have a responsibility to face that head on. And after the discovery of a mass grave in Kamloops, it's more real now than ever before. There are no words that can do justice to those children and the countless others who died alone and scared, far from home, far from the families who loved them. There are no words that can make right a deliberate and intentional system that was designed to assimilate and extinguish indi Indigenous peoples. At the legislature in Victoria, dozens upon dozens of shoes line the steps leading into the building to mark the victims lost. At St. Thomas Aquinas Regional Secondary School in North Vancouver, students took a moment to pay tribute on Monday morning. The school is also the site of a former residential school St. Paul's. In New Westminster, Hayek Square is filling with shoes and teddy bears to remember those lost in Kamloops. And in Delta, one woman has organized a similar memorial outside City Hall. You know, there's so much work still for reconciliation and I don't even know all the work because I'm not Indigenous myself, but I just know that as a society, we need to come together and work towards that reconciliation. I feel happy that everyone is coming in and donating shoes and remembering everything, but it is a pretty sad story, so it's, I'm kind of feeling two feelings at the same time. Our communities, we're grieving, you know, so we're all grieving. Um, the sacred fires have been lit. Uh, over in, in uh, Kamloops. Peggy Janicki is the BC Teachers Federation's Indigenous member at large. While the shows of solidarity, like wearing something orange for the entire week, are powerful, she notes it's important for everyone to do their part in understanding where they fit into Canada's history. What is your relationship to Indian residential schools? And, and this is the conversation, the conversations that we need to figure out together. And while some of us might be shocked by what we're reading, hearing or seeing these past few days, she wants everyone to know. This is not news to us. You know, these tragedies, these genocidal stories uh, of these spaces is not new. In Vancouver, Rhea Renouf, City News.